Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. This video is all about introducing a playlist where we have put more than 30 videos and it is increasing day by day. It has more than 8 hours of demo videos. In this playlist, we are leveraging different Azure services for different scenarios and these are the Azure services typically used for big data processing and generally used by data engineers and analysts. So let's go and see what are the different videos we have. So if you see this list, we have videos for Twitter sentiment analysis, we have videos for real time telemetry, stream processing where some of the cars are sending the telemetry data. We have fraudulent call detection where some sort of uh, simulator are sending call data. We have weather forecasting, we have web scrapping, we are using different open source libraries. So if you see this video about Twitter sentiment analysis, we have done end to end demo where we are pulling the data from Twitter and we are doing real time processing as well as we are processing into batches also using Azure Synapse Analytics and we are using Power BI for visualization purpose. In this video, we are leveraging client application which is sending some telemetry data from cars and other things where a lot of sensors are installed into car which sends that what is the temperature, what is the engine temperature, what is the speed, what is the fuel and then this data is ingested into event hub. Then we are trying to use stream analytics to run the jobs on the top of the real time streaming and this is all about how to detect fraudulent call data with Azure stream analytics and other things so this is kind of real time fraud detection demo in this demo the data is coming from some of the IoT devices and it is ingested into IoT hub and on the top of we are running more machine learning which forecasts that weather this video is all about web scrapping. Nowadays in the large language model world, we do a lot of web scrapping because we need data to train the models. This video is all about how we can use different open source libraries inside Azure Synapse Analytics and Spark Pool. This video is all about how we can use Event Hub connect from Azure Data Bricks and do the Delta Lake uh, operations. This video is all about how we can read streaming data from Azure in Stream Analytics. Lot of times we have to connect with Azure SQL or different kind of SQL or different type of data sources and pull the data using some date time based column. This is another mechanism, another technique where we are using CDC to pull the data. This is using the data wrangling feature inside Azure Data Factory to mass generate the Power Query and other things. This video demonstrates how we can use mapping data flow for transformation purpose. This video how we can use virtual network and private endpoints to secure our Azure Data Factory and other things. This video is hybrid scenario where we are integrating Snowflake where some of the data is outside of Azure and we are trying to bring the data into Azure Gen 2. This is all about what are the integration runtime in Azure Data Factory in Snaps. And in this video we have used Microsoft Purview for discovery purpose how we can register all the assets into Microsoft Purview and build a data catalog. This video how we can run the R script using Azure Batch and inside Data Factory. This video all about how deployment happens with Bicep. Again, how we are reading this stream analytics job in Delta Lake format we are storing. This video is all about how to use Azure Data Bricks in a Spark SQL. Similar thing if you go and see the details, we have used Azure Cosmos DB for Apache Gremlin for Grab DB. This is how we can store that real time data into Azure Cosmos DB. If you go further down, you can see that how we can create a PostgreSQL database on Microsoft Azure and how we can use the different client tools such as PGA admin to connect them. This video is all about how we can 
create my sql in azure and connect with sql yog this is how to use redis inside your apis similar how you can secure your azure storage and create with private endpoint so this these are the few videos and this playlist is growing very fast so please do subscribe and share with your friend if you like that one thank you